Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the August 2024 TDL Member Forum. My name is Christy Park, and I'm the Executive Director of the Texas Digital Library. We will start, as we normally do, by acknowledging the physical places from which we're joining, all located on the indigenous lands of Turtle Island, the ancestral name for what is now called North America. TDL's staff works remotely from multiple places. I'm joining from Austin, where the Tonkawa were among their tra traditional stewards of the land before their forcible removal. And I invite you to share your own land acknowledgements in chat if you would like to. We will follow our usual agenda, starting with some director's updates. I'll be joined by our deputy director, Courtney Muma, to provide some services updates. And our outreach coordinator, Kira Hunt, will um, wrap things up with some community announcements. Thank you also to Megan Hernandez for managing our slide deck today. I cannot believe it's almost September, <laughs> um, and I know many of you probably feel the same. I know some of you are at institutions that have already begun fall classes, and uh, many more of you will, will start this, this week. I hope everybody has had re a restorative summer, and that as we enter the fall semester with you know, new faculty orientations and instruction sessions and a busy fall conference season ahead, not to mention just the busyness that the fall might mean for your personal lives as kids go back to school and all the other stuff as well. I'm, I'm really wishing for all of us a productive and fantastic fall season. Um, I, I hope we'll use this fall to keep moving forward together. We've got lots of exciting things happening and we'll continue, continue to rely on one another to accomplish some pretty great things as we wrap up the calendar year. Um, speaking of exciting things happening this fall, I want to remind everybody about the Open Texas OER conference that's happening September 25th through 27th. Registration is open for this conference. It will be fully online and free to attend thanks to its co-organizers who are the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board and uh, your very own Texas Digital Library. The theme for this year's conference is Global Horizons of Open Education, The View from Texas, and we have a lot of wonderful folks from the TDL community serving on the planning committees for this conference. They are developing an exciting program that will be announced shortly in the next, you know, week or two, you should be seeing announcements coming about the program and about our keynote speaker and panels, a, t a coordinating board town hall, and more. So definitely get registered today. And just a note for any of you who are waiting on news about a proposal that you submitted for this conference, those should be coming out in the next few days, definitely in the next week. So um, be on the lookout for that. You can use the link in chat uh, to register and learn more about the conference. So we'll move into our services and project updates, starting with our digital repository hosting service using DSpace. Um, our tech lead, Nick Woodward, and I are continuing to work with folks at UT San Antonio on a short pilot project to further explore using the new entities framework in DSpace with TDL hosted repositories. We talked about this a little bit at the last forum. This new framework could allow for the creation of things like um, author profile records or faculty profile records that connect faculty members to the items they've deposited in the repository. We were we will provide a, a full update on what we've been working on with this um, pilot project at our DSpace user group meeting uh, this month, which is coming up next Monday, August 26th. Secondly, a reminder about the DSpace North American Users Group meeting in September, which is happening at the University of Minnesota. If you haven't yet registered, it is not too late to do that. The registration site is, is closed temporarily, so you can't register today um, because of some upgrades that the host org is doing, but it will reopen after September 3rd. So um, 
mark your calendar and we'll be sending out a reminder email after September 3rd for those of you who still need to register for that. I know we're going to have a really good presence both in the program for this meeting and in attendance, so I'm excited about that. And finally, um, I wanted to acknowledge TDL's own Nick Woodward. Um, on being selected recently to join the DSpace Committers Group. DSpace Committers, um, this are part of the global open source DSpace community. They are the primary support team for the DSpace open source code base. And he joins a group of very accomplished developers from all over the world who maintain DSpace for thousands of institutions worldwide. Uh, you know, a couple of dozen of which are hosted here at the Texas Digital Library. So this is a, a big deal and a well-deserved recognition of Nick's contributions to DSpace development over, over a number of years. We know he'll continue to do great things in support of DSpace and TDL members. I think that's it for me. I'm gonna hand it over to Courtney to continue our service updates. Thanks, Christy. Hi, everybody. I'm going to start with Virio ETD. Um, the virtual annual meeting of the Virio Users Group is coming up on October 7th from 10 a.m. until noon. The meeting includes updates from the product manager, Christopher Starcher, um, us at TDL, all of the developers, and users. There'll be plenty of time for an open discussion as well. And there's a lot more information, including the agenda and a link to register that we'll share here in the chat. Um, I also want to update you that the developers are working on the newest Vario version, and it will be rolled out to all hosted TDL users this fall. So if you are a Vario hosted user, keep a lookout for that email. Next up, um, the July harvest into DPLA is complete. And now the TDL contributions to Text Hub number 133,721 items, which is very exciting for us. And we're really proud of it. Visit the link in chat to see all the TDL and UNT contributions to the DPLA from one place. Um, and I also uh, wanted to include a link to the blog post in chat, but I see that it's missing right now. So I'll add that myself. Next, we'll move into our community updates with our outreach coordinator, Kiara Hunt. Thanks, Courtney. Hello, everyone. I'm excited to share some community updates and upcoming events with you all. So first up, this year's Open Access Symposium will be held on October 25th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. via Zoom, hosted by the University of North Texas Libraries and the Texas State University Libraries. The theme of this year's symposium is Open About Open. The call for proposals submission form is now available and the deadline is August 31st. Anyone interested in sharing their work or engaging with others on topics related to open in a relaxed virtual environment is encouraged to submit a proposal. This includes, but is not limited to, faculty, librarians, administrators, staff, students, policymakers, advocates, and community members. We'll share more details in the chat. Next up is a reminder to don't miss the 2024 STEM Librarian South Conference. The 14th annual meeting will offer excellent learning opportunities for professionals at all levels of STEM librarianship. This year's theme is Share, Teach, Explore, and Make. The call for proposals deadline is September 1st, where you are sharing best practices, teaching new skills, exploring emerging technologies, or making impactful contributions to your community. You're encouraged to submit your proposal that highlights your passion and expertise. You can learn more about Learn more about the conference in the link in the chat. And next up, we want you all to save the day for TCDL 2025, happening May 20th through 22nd. The conference will be once again held at the Commons Conference Center in Austin, Texas. This year's planning committee is chaired by Heidi Winkler from Texas Tech University. Thank you to everyone who signed up to join the committee. We'll be in touch soon with all the details about the kickoff meeting details. The, the, sorry, I have like a little bit of a um, cough here. Um, kickoff meeting happening in September. If you missed our recent call for committee volunteers and want to serve on the committee, please email the steering group by Friday, August 23rd. 
The contact info will be shared in the chat. So stay tuned for more announcements and updates. Lastly, join the TDL Imaging Group's Around To It meeting series for a scheduled time to work on those things that you would like to get around to. When is going to be every Thursday of the month from 10 to 11 a.m. The Imaging Group details will be shared in the chat so you all can know more about it. And next slide. So here are the upcoming meetings and events happening at TDL. These meetings and events are free and open to anyone. You're always welcome to invite your campus partners and non-TDL member colleagues and your network to join us. So first up, we have Friday, August 23rd at 2 p.m. We have the GIS interest group meeting. On Monday, August 26th at 3 p.m., we have the DSpace user group meeting. On Thursday, September 5th at 10 a.m., we have the OJS user group meeting. And on Tuesday, September 10th at 3 p.m., we have the OER users group meeting. And on Thursday, September 12th at 10 a.m., we have the imaging group around to it meeting. So check out the link in the chat for more events happening with TDL. And we also have the September what's happening also posted. The Texas Digital Library celebrates collaboration amongst our community and with external partners and connects local work to a global ecosystem of digital library efforts. We offer many ways to current, new, and potential members to engage with our community. Check out the latest updates and announcements for upcoming meetings, events, and programs on our social media channels and in our bi-monthly newsletter and listservs. We'll share the link in the chat for our Get Involved page, which you can learn more about how to connect with us. And on that note, if you would like to contribute news, announcements, project updates, or other content to an upcoming issue of the bi-monthly TDL update newsletter, we would like to hear from you. So if you'd like to share any updates with um, any programs you're working with, you can email us at info at tdl.org with your ideas. And that's all for our community updates. For any questions, please email us at info at tdo.org. Now hand things back over to Christy. Thank you all. Thanks, Kiara and Courtney. We do have plenty of time for questions if you have them. And I'll just um, remind you that we have our anonymous feedback form linked here and in chat if you would like to send a question or a comment to us anonymously. Um, Kiara, I had a quick question for you, if that's okay, while folks are thinking about things. The, um, I, I really encourage folks to send us news or, you know, items that they'd like to see included in our newsletter or other communications. Um, we have a fall newsletter coming up. Is there a um, any kind of deadline or anything like that that people should send us things um, to be included in that? Yes, there is a deadline. We will try to get the newsletter out um, sometime in early September. So by the second week of September, uh, if you can get us any updates before Labor Day, that would be great. Awesome. Thank you. And a reminder, too, that if folks have things they want to send themselves to um, the TDL membership, uh, we do have the TDL members email list, and you can use that to send any, you know, um, announcements and um, job postings, things like that, um, and they'll go to the, the TDL members. All right. I'm not seeing any questions. We were very efficient today. So we're, um, we'll wrap it up there and uh, give you back a few minutes of your day. Um, Thank you all for giving us some of your time this morning. Good to see everyone. And we'll be seeing you in, in the many meetings and events that are um, coming up over the next few weeks. Hope everybody has a great start to the fall semester. And we will see you again very soon. Take care, everyone.